All right, so pulling your iron shots is one of the most common things that I see. It's extremely frustrating, and it seems like no matter what you do, as soon as you swing, the ball is going dead left. Now, when you're pulling an iron shot, two things are happening. Number one, your right shoulder is coming out. So as the shoulder comes out this way, then that gets your path or the direction you're swinging more to the left. Now, when you swing more to the left like that, there's only two options. Number one, I can square up the face, meaning that my face is also going the direction that I'm swinging. And when I do that, that's gonna go dead left and straight. It's gonna be fairly solid. It's gonna feel pretty good. The distance is gonna be okay, but it's just way too far left. Now, if you try to open up the face to square that shot back up, so I feel like the face, instead of going to the left, is a little bit more open, that ends up being an extremely weak kind of floating up, slicing shot, ends up going to the right, and it's crazy frustrating because that one goes like 30 or 40 yards shorter than it's supposed to, so it feels really, really weak. So that all stems from this right shoulder coming out. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the right shoulder properly, and then once you do that properly, you feel like you can turn through the ball as hard as you want to, and nothing's ever gonna go to the left. Let's go and get started. All right, so in this drill, I call it the tuck and turn drill. And it all comes down to this right shoulder, like I mentioned. When you go to the top of the swing, the natural tendency, being a right-handed player, being right arm dominant, is to get that right side of the body starting to come hard from the top. And when you do that, a lot of times that shoulder will go out instead of tucking under. And I want you to feel what I mean by tucking under, where you feel like you pinch almost like if you had a glove or you could even take your glove off and do that on a couple practice swings put that glove under your right armpit and we're going to feel like as soon as we start our downswing we're going to have that right shoulder kind of tuck into our body that right elbow is also going to come in so if your elbow tends to fly out this glove would fall out that's a, a common problem and i feel like i'm tucking my entire right shoulder right arm right elbow into the right side of my body. Now that that's tucked, everything's gonna come from the inside. Notice how when my elbow and my shoulder go out, that steepens up the club, I'm kind of coming over the top, steep shaft angle there. But when I tuck it in, all of a sudden that starts to drop the club in to where it's now shallow. All this is connected and from there, I can turn as hard as I want to and I'm coming from the inside, I'm gonna deliver this club squarely through the golf ball. So do a couple practice swings just where you go to the top, go kind of halfway back. You tuck the right shoulder under, and then from there you can rotate as much as you want, and you're gonna be coming from the inside. You're gonna get rid of that over the top, that right shoulder flying out, that right elbow flying out, and you're gonna feel really, really good and connected from there. Now once I get that right shoulder tucked to kind of start the downswing, from there I can rotate as hard as I want. I don't want to stop my rotation. If I stop my rotation, I'm going to throw all arms. Nothing really good is going to happen from it. But if I can tuck that shoulder and then rotate on through as hard as I can, that's going to allow me to finish the swing and have a lot of power. So let me go ahead and try that out here. I'm going to tuck first and then I'm going to rotate. I'm going to turn as hard as I want. There we go. And that one was dead straight. And I felt like no matter how far I turned left, no matter how hard I turned through the shot, no matter how aggressive I was, now that my shoulder was tucked, everything was gonna be nice and square through the golf ball. Now there's a second piece of this that makes it a lot easier. If I grab another golf ball here, a lot of times players' spine angles will be way too vertical. And what I mean by this, if you, if you were looking at my, an X-ray of my body and see my spine straight up and down, that puts me in a position to where when I go to the top, if my spine is vertical or leaning to the left, that shoulder has no choice but to fly out in the downswing. My body's in a position to where if I rotate at all, that shoulder's gonna fly out. Now the real solution to this is what I call a stable fluid spine. And what that means is I'm gonna get my spine tilted slightly away from the target. I'm gonna feel like my hips or my belt buckle are bumped forward toward the target. My upper body is back. So my nose or my chest would be behind this golf ball. And from there, I'm tilted away slightly to where it's very easy to tuck that right shoulder in. 
Now that I'm set up properly, I can tuck that right shoulder and then rotate through the shot. And again, like I said, no matter how hard you rotate through it, you're gonna feel like that ball is gonna go straight. It's not gonna go a pull to the left. Now, like I mentioned, that's what I call the stable fluid spine. And that's one of the five principles, the five real fundamentals of the top speed golf system. If you get those five pieces down, and this is kind of the core of all those pieces, then you're gonna play some really good golf. I'm gonna play a preview from one of my best stable fluid spine videos. I'm gonna talk about exactly how to get into that proper spine angle and make it feel really natural so you can hit a lot of good golf shots. If you wanna see that video, all you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up somewhere in the top of your screen. Or if you don't see those cards, don't worry. Go down to the link below in the description and you'll get instant access to that video. I can't wait to help you. Can't wait to show you some of these secrets of the stable fluid spine, help you hit the ball a whole heck of a lot more solid. Let's get started right now. What is it that allows us to have consistency in the golf swing? And what is it that allows that consistency to fall apart and create some bad rounds? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video today. Let's go ahead and get started. Everything that's, that happens in the golf swing is initially dictated by what happens with the spine. So if we're looking at a skeleton, you know, my spine's in the center of my body and everything else in my body is attached to my spine. So my shoulders are attached to my spine, my arms attached to my shoulders, and then my arms are gonna be actually swinging the club. Now, when I see players that are really struggling, those guys that are hitting it out in the woods right, they're hitting in the left, then they have a few good holes, what's happening is their spine angle is changing. As they go to the top of the swing, maybe they have a reverse pivot, spine's angled back, falling back to the right, but there's a lot of inconsistency in that. And what happens is, as good athletes as we all are, the number one fundamental in golf, correct, keep it nice and stable, but fluid, we're gonna be able to hit those good, clean shots time and time again, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this series of videos. Henrik Stenson, top five in both driving distance and accuracy. Roy McIlroy here, playing some of the best golf that anybody's ever played, and you can see just how stable.